And hi everybody out there, this is Mark Mannering from Class Training. This is just a very quick summary of the major content of our Microsoft Word Advanced course. All versions are catered for, as you can see listed here. Now one of the first major sections we cover in the Word Advanced course is all about templates in Word and also how default settings such as font and uh, size formatting and paragraph settings and also page layout settings how all that is uh, set up, how the defaults are changed and where that's stored in your templates. We also cover how to create templates in Word. So for example there's my template text and formatting for a fax cover sheet for example and we look at how to convert this and save it as a template in Word. And now I've just saved this text and formatting as a template in Word as you can see by its file name in the title bar here. But in the course we also look at some very quick ways and shortcuts on how to use this template and create documents based on the template. And now that that template's been created and saved and uh, closed down, what I've done is created what they call a macro, and that macro has been used to quickly open that template or to create a document uh, based on that template. And I've added a button to the quick access toolbar there that you can see. Pointing to the button tells you that uh, it's going to load Mark's fax template. So if I click on that button, it now very quickly opens up the template and I've got a new document as you can see from the title bar there based on that particular template. And I've just entered some uh, dummy information to send this particular example uh, fax transmission off. So once I've sent this, if I need to save it, I can just press Control S and it won't override the original template. So once I've sent this fax off, if some of us still do and not just uh, use email all the time, once I've sent this off and saved it, I can create a brand new fax transmission template just by clicking on the button here. That button runs the macro which loads the template and away we go with a nice clean version. So you can have lots of buttons across the top here which can load your particular templates and make it a lot easier to um, manage those standard documents and standard templates. Okay, another big section in the Word Advanced course is all about styles and styles formatting and how we can save lots of time in formatting long documents that have headings and subheadings and so on and we use styles to quickly apply the formatting across the uh, whole document and then we can also use those styles to create the table of contents, which we'll look at in a sec. Now, first of all, you can see the extra enters or hard returns there. And what I've done there in the blink of an eye is to remove those hard returns. That's all covered in the course. There's a great shortcut for doing that. But now that the hard returns have been removed, I can more easily apply formatting to those subheadings using styles. Okay, what I've done there is to create two styles, which allows me to format my document very quickly. You can see the style names there with a suggested number at the start of the style name so that we can see what the hierarchy is. So number one is the main heading, number two is the subheading, and we can see the relationship between the two. And it's very easy now to apply the formatting from the style to the paragraph. So I just click on Y the report, for example, click on subheading two, and it applies the formatting. Go to budget figures, press a nice keyboard shortcut, and so on to apply that style automatically. Okay, once we've fixed up everything and we've applied the styles across the whole document, we can use those styles now to create our table of contents, and that's all done automatically. So if I just go back to the start of the page here, or the start of the document, at the top here I want to insert my table of contents. Okay, and there's my table of contents without manually typing up all of the subheadings again, and dot, 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 dots, and also the page numbers. We've used the Word feature to obviously add the table of contents very quickly. If we make a change to the text of the headings, for example, or we change the page numbers, it's very easy to update that table of contents. So there's the original table of contents. And now what I've done very quickly is to use a shortcut to update that table of contents, and it's all automatically done for me. Now another big section we cover in our Word Advanced course is how to work with long documents, and in particular, how to change the layout or pagination of a few pages or sections within that particular document. And a very common request we get, which we cover in the course, is for example, how do I make this one page here, which is page 20 in our 34 page example here, how do we make this one page that's portrait at the moment into a landscape orientation? Now a lot of you would know that you've got to add section breaks and play around with that way, but there's a great shortcut that we use in the course to quickly make this into a landscape page. Okay, so what I've done now is to use this great shortcut to convert this one page into a landscape page. If I scroll back and forth, you can see the previous pages are portrait, and the one after the landscape page is obviously uh, portrait as well. And I haven't used manual section breaks. I've used a great shortcut that we cover in the advanced course. Another big popular section we cover in the course is all about tabs and how to use tabs properly 
to create uh, particular layouts. Now the strong suggestion is not to use tabs to create things like tables of figures or numbers. You would use uh, tables for that. But a typical example that we use in the course is how to use tabs to create a hard copy fill-in form. So there's some static text to give the user some instruction on what to do with this hard copy fill-in form. And I've already set up the tab key and formatted the tab key to give me a large tab which goes over to the right hand side of the page and also gets uh, formatted or displayed as leader dots. So if I press the tab key once, you can see I've got all those dots across to the other side of the page without having to tap the uh, full stop key and go tap, 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 for example, and put all those dots in. It's all been done automatically by formatting the tab key. If I press enter now and type in the address that they've got to fill in, I can press the tab key once and it lines up beautifully with the previous set of dots as well. We can type in town and tab and away we go. Even if we don't type a, a label or a heading, we can have the tab key just to um, produce a lot of dots so that people can fill in whatever they need to fill in. Now another big section we cover in the Word Advanced course is how to work with Word forms. And in this example here, what I've done is brought back that fax transmission header you saw before, uh, the template. And I've added some codes behind the scenes to make this what they call an auto-prompted template. So when people use or open up the template, they get prompted to enter the particular information that goes into the different fields or headings that you can see there. So if I just close this template down, because this is the actual template that I've amended or changed, I'll just go File and Close. So what I can do now is use that same macro button that I did earlier to open up that template. But because I've amended the template, we're going to be prompted with the particular sections to fill in. So I'll just click that. You can see the first prompt comes up. It's going to Barney, obviously. I'll fill that in and just click OK. Who's the fax coming from? Obviously from me. Click OK to that. Their fax number is whatever. And OK. How many total pages? 25 pages. And what's the subject? It's whatever. By clicking OK, all that's automatically filled into the template. Although, again, this is a blank document based on the template, and the template's still nice and clean, ready for next time. And one of the last big sections we cover in the Word Advanced course is how to integrate uh, applications and documents. So, for example, how to integrate Word with Excel, or how to integrate Word with other applications. So, one of the examples is mail merging. So, we look at how to create a basic mail merge letter or mail merge email, such as this one here. Also, then we look at how to link that particular template or document to this database, such as an Excel spreadsheet. And you can see the headings or fields across the top there. We then look at how to add those particular fields or headings to the template, the Word document. And there they are there. And then also how we can preview the particular results. So there's the first record merged into the template. And I can just scroll through the different uh, records just to get an idea of how the data will be uh, positioned on the template. And back to the field codes. Once we know everything is in place, then we can say, right, let's print this as a final mail merge letter with all the individual letters going to each person. Or we can also email this automatically through Outlook and create email merges as well. And as part of this big section on integrating applications, we look at how to transfer data from Excel, for example, over to Word properly. So if I've got the Excel information here, what we don't, or what I should say is we shouldn't do, is just to simply copy and paste that Excel information into the Word document here because it gets pasted uh, automatically just as a table. And as you can see there, we've lost some of the columns. The column's gone off the page. Uh, the first column's wider than what it was in the actual spreadsheet. And it's a lot of work trying to fix this up. Now what I've done there now instead is to paste that Excel information in a different way. And you can see it's come onto the page. All the columns are in the right uh, position and, and size. And the same formatting's come across as well from that Excel spreadsheet. And the way I've pasted this in, which is one of many ways you can paste it in to make it easier for you, I can now click on this and make this a lot smaller and produce the particular size or get it to the particular size that I want. So a lot less mucking around and a lot more time saving. Okay, people, as I said, that's just a very quick rundown on our Word Advanced course. A lot more we cover in the course as well. But you can see that the course takes you through how to use Word, not just as a simple typewriter or fancy typewriter. We go beyond that and look at it as a uh, very involved word processor and getting it to do the work for us with lots of shortcuts, macros, and so on to save you lots of time. As you might know, we also provide introduction courses to Microsoft Word and intermediate courses as well. Have a look at those. Uh, they might be more relevant uh, for yourself or your personnel at this point in time, and then they can move on to the advanced course as well. And finally, people, all attendees and participants to our computer courses and IT training sessions are entitled to the following services and benefits. 
We can initially provide a needs analysis of your current skill or your personnel's current skill level of the application and that can suggest the best course or level for them. We provide public courses in our training room and there's a schedule on our website for those. But we can also provide on-site training in your facilities and we can provide laptops to help out with your requirements. We provide face-to-face hands-on training with a facilitator uh, to follow through the exercises out of the workbook and so on. But we also provide live webinars where travel might be a problem and they are very cost effective. We can also provide online training as well. All our training manuals contain step-by-step -step instructions and shortcuts for you to follow through during the training and also afterwards as a reference tool. And most importantly, we provide customised content. So as well as the uh, particular content that we have with our courses that we've developed, we can also customise all this to uh, fulfil your particular training requirements. We also provide free refreshers on our training courses where you can come back and do a free refresher course. Uh, conditions apply, so please inquire about that and we provide lots of support after the training so you can email in or phone in your particular query or question and we can answer that uh, for you we have a web based help desk which can be used 24 7 obviously with a large library of questions and answers and you can submit your queries through that help desk as well and we also provide our training manuals for sale in case you wanted to run your own in-house training or do your own self-study as well Okay, that's all from me for the time being. It's Mark Mannering from Class Training. Uh, thanks for your time. Please contact the office for any other information you might require about our training courses and services. But hopefully we'll see you soon so that we can help you learn lots and learn fast. Thanks again. Bye.